This week on Marae Investigates, a nation mourns the passing of one of Māoridom's greatest champions. If we're serious about nationhood, then I want to make sure that Māori get a fair crack. So where to now for Ikoroarafiti and Māori politics? Also, we profile a young singer-songwriter from Ngāpuhi. Can we chill underneath this boat and cow a tree? Life is a breeze like was two, three, ah. As we celebrate New Zealand Music Month. <laughs> Ai he rū ngā manawa he koa ngā ngākau, kei kona nō koutou, ngā rau o pio pio, mō koria nō te mihi. Well, yesterday, one of Māoridom's most prominent and influential politicians was laid to rest. He tangata kai tā, kai tā te manawa, kai tā ngā whakaaro, kai tā te whakapau kaha ki o rā i tōna iwi. Ai, tens of thousands of mourners travelled to Hauiti Marae this week to pay tribute to the legacy of Parekura Horumia. Nō reire e te puhi ariki o te pīnaku wā wāhi ngaru pua hei hei, haere atu rā ki wā mamao. The days of us being the road side workers and, and the factory fodder are over, you know, we need to get more innovative and entrepreneurial, but we also need to be allowed to participate. You're looking fantastic. <laughs> I have to say, you're looking fantastic. <laughs> I'm getting worried. Some people say I'm a bit handsome at the moment. <laughs> like you said. Over a period of time, there has been information that hasn't been correct. I've been around a long time, Shane. And the thing is, I love our people, and I want to make sure that we get on with it, that we make sure that Māori has a crack in this country. It's supposed to be two partners. If we're serious about nationhood, then I want to make sure that Māori get a fair crack. And if that's a, a cost to me personally, then that's another issue. I can say on the show right now, we have been consistent in supporting Kohanga, Kura, Wānanga, Iwi radio stations, you name it, we've done it. Singing their praises, Tolaga Bay celebrating a hat trick for their boy, Parekura Horomia. I think he does well for the Maori, and he's done it, it, it shows. It's not only he's, he's a good candidate, he's a good cousin too, sir. So. I also remember being a young Maori warden when the issues were different, when it was specifically about boozing and violence at that time. I don't want the wardens to be that group that you call up when it gets sticky. I don't want wardens to be just in the damn car park because that's why I see most of you. Come final count, a familiar sight. Uawa celebrating their man taking the Ikarua Rafiti seat. Tino reka reka hakitahua, iro te toku manua. Tino pō whakahira hira moa, me te toku whānau whānui, me toku rōpū tautuko. Are you happy that you've stuck around? I'm happy I've stuck around. Will you be sticking around for the next three years? I'll be sticking around. <laughs> and we'll talk further about that too. <laughs> He whakarā popototanga paku paku noa tērā o te ao whakamiharo o Parekuro Horomia. 
Nā, kei tōku tahi nai nei, ko Derek Fox, miharo hoki te kōrero mōna, nā te mea, ko e whakapā ho kōrero ia mō parekura, ko e whakataitai hoki ki a parekura, mō te tūru o te ikaroa rāwhiti. Tēnā koe, Derek. Tēnā koe, Tāri. Te wā i rongo ai koe mō te matengo o parekura. I pēhea te rere i o o whakaaro? Aroha rawa atua. I rongo au i te ata i mua i tēnā matenga i te tino taumaha ia. Ka puta mai te whakaaro ke au i waira rapa au i tērā wā. I te hare atua ki pōneke, a muri atua i te hoki atua ki te wā kāinga. A whakaaro painoa māku e hare te ki te iaia. I te kutainga atua ki te kāinga, ingari i mate i tērā ahi ahi. Nō reira, pauri rawa atua au. Nō reira, ka hare koe ki te iaia? Ka hare ki te iaia mua tēnā matenga. Ingari i te hare koe ki tōna? I te hare o ki reira. Ki aia ka tae mai te kōrero ko o mata ki reira. Mena i whai wāhi koe ki te kōrero ki aia, heaha o kupu ki aia? Tino hoa māo, ne, a koa he hoa riri i te e tahi wā, engari kā rea au te hehe whawhai a parekura. I te tono ki au, i te whawhai ki au, mō te tahi reo motu hake mō te iwi Māori i roto i te whare pāre mata. Me te mōhio anoa, a koa mene wiki tōria kā re rāne au ka uru tūnu a parekura ki roto i te pāre mata. Nā te mea koe e te tua rima, i runga i te rārangi pōti mō ngā motu rōpū reipa, kā re e kore ka uru atu ia. Mena, i āta whakaaro te iwi o Ikaro Rāwhiti, ko noho e rua ke o rātau tama ki roto i te pāre mata. Tika tau, nera, hakoa he hoa riri kōrua i pai tonu kōrua. Oh, he whanaunga, he whanaunga he hoa. Me pēhea rā, te whakamaharāke ki aia i nai nei, nōna nahi nei nā i tanu mi aia, pēhea tā tātou whakamaharāke ki aia? Mena ka kōrero tāu mō parikura tangata, a, tino tangata tēnā. Tangata i... I tipu mai, i roto i te koraha, i... Whakarerea e te pahi? Ae, whakarerea, koe nga rā te kōrero. Nō tuna tōmuri ke pe, arā mō. Engari, he tangata i noho mai te tahona tīpuna, nga rātau i poipoi. He tangata i ako ki te kuchi hipi. He haere ki te mahi i rō nupepa, i ngā mahi tā. Kōrero, e roto i te nupepa, ko e te tahi ana mahi. Ka mūtu ka e roto i te kāwana tanga, ki te mahi i reira, e roto i te tahi o ngā tari o te kāwana tanga. Nō reira, i mōheo katoia i e nga mahi, ngā whakaneke nekenga o ngā tari o te kāwana tanga, i te wā ka tū ia mō te whare pāre mata. He tangata o te whenua i piki ki te rangi, me pērā pe a te kōrero? Ai, ai. He tangata... Kaha ki te huri huri haere i tana rohe pōti, ne? Nā, ko waika mate, a tae atu a parikura. Ko te huri tau, a mea, a mea, a mea, a tae atu a parikura. Ki te tērā pēka wikitori a te tīma o Ngāti Porau, ka tae atu a parikura. Kā re, kore. Ko koe tētahi, o te hia mano tāngata i tae atu ki te marae o hauwiti i roto i ngā rā nei, i pēhea tērā? I haere o kare au i kōrero nga me te nui o ngā tino rangatira reira, hei ka maumau taima noiho a hau ki te tū ki te kōrero. Engari, i haere au i reira ki te hari i ōkuro e mata me tōku āroha ki aia, me te whānau, me ona tama, me ona mokopuna. Ka mutu nga te matenga o parekure e wātea kauana te tūru o tīkoro a rāwhiti i tēnei wā. Ka whakataitai hia te tūru nei hei ngā wiki e tū mai nei. Ko koe tēnā? Kā, kā reo mō te tū. Hea, hei kore ai. E rua ngā wā ko tūau mō tēnā tūru, kā reo i wiki tōria, tērā pēr, ko oti te tīwi te kororo mai ki au, kā reo mātou tu hei hei ākoi, koe nga. Tērā te whakapai e kore tau a tūru e riro i a mana i te rōpū tōranga pū Māori, he aroha nui rawa no te rohe pōti ki a parekura, e kore rawa rātou e whakai ki a riro i tētahi atu rōpū tērā tūru. Kei te peheo whakaaro ki tērā mamo whakapai? I tēnei wā, kei te koe koe nga, ano, kei te tautoku au i tēnā whakapai. Nā te mea, mō heko i a tātou te iwi Māori, ne? Pōti tātou mō te tangata. Kā re tino pōti mō ngā ehanga kaupapa o tēnei pātui o tēnā pātui? Ae, mena kei te whakatakariri ka toa tātou i etahe o ngā rōpū ka pōti tātou mō tētahi atu. Engari, mena ka tichiro koe ki ngā tāngata kei runga te rārangi pōti mō te ikoro rāwhiti, te nuingo rātou me ki pēha 
he pohara, uh, he, he kai mahi mena a whai mahi ana rata. Uh, ko waia ke rata ki te pochi mo te ropu reipa. Ko waia rata ki te pochi mo parikura. Mm. Mo he koe o parikura, ahore, ahore te nei parikura ki te, tetahi uh, mo he koe jandals ko waia koe te, te hii koe ki roto ne, mm. ko waia rata ki aia. Mm. Nā, i tēnei whakatātai, kāre e kore, ka wikitoria anō te rōpū reipa. Mm. Nā, te mea aroha te hiwi ki a parikura. I atau hāre ki te pōchi, ka aroha mai rātou ki a parikura. He, he ko tahi a parikura, a parikura ah, oro tui te whakatupuranga. Ah, e kore tātou e ki te parikura anō. <laughs> Engari, i runga i tērā whakaaro, ko wai te tangata tika, hei kawe i te mahi kua mahue mai nei iai e nai nei. Kei te kōrero tia a Hayden Hape, kei mm. te kōrero tia Mika Whaitiri, mm. Ko ai ki a koe ki tau te tiro, te tanga te tika oro tu i taro he pōti o te ikaro rāwhiti, hei kawe i tērā tūru ki te whare pāre mata? Uh, ka rea mōhio. Uh, ko rongo au e nga ingoa, uh, i rongo au ka rea uh, uh, a meka i te tino rata, ki te whakaaro me tūia. Mm. Engari, ko ai ka mōhio. Te rāpea i rotu i tana wiki e takotoa nei te kāinga, Nā, i mōhia au i reira meka, tērā pei kōrero e kia meka, mm. tērā pei whakaia meka, kia ia, kia tū, kā tū ia, engari uh, kā rau mōhia. Mm. Mēnā ka te tiro whakamua tāua ki te kōwhiri ngā pōti tū tūru a te rātau, a te rātū tau rā nei, ko wai te kā wanatanga ki tāu te tiro? Uh, ko te rōpū reipa me, me te rōpū kākāriki. Ne, hea i pēnā e o whakaau? Uh, Kei te hōhā te iwi, a uh, ki te te ropu nai nara e to ar pati ki te pati nai nara i kite au mena ke te chiro koi ko tahi e rua no he penga tūru a mm. uh, kei mua a uh, te ropu nai nara ki te haere te kore take nei a banks <laughs> me te nohoa i i uh, i, uh, i karori a mm. uh, Ko Wikitoria. Kei te, te huri te tai, ne? Kei te, te huri te tai. tai. Mm -hmm. Mei ana ki a koe, Derek Ngā Mihinui ki a koe, nā te mea mōhio anau he hoa piri pono. Mm. Ko rua ko Parekura. Kei te rongo tonu koe i te mamai, kei te mm. rongo tonu tātou katoa i te mamai. Mm. Me te aha, kei te tangi hotu hotu o tāua manoa, nā manoa o te motu. Ki a Parekura horo mea koe riro nei. Nō reira Ngā Mihinui ki a koe. Kia ora rā. So, Derek Fox is predicting a Labour Greens coalition winning the next election, something our next guest will be happy to hear. Joining me now from Dunedin is Greens co-leader Matiria Ture, tēnā koe. Thanks for joining us this morning. Kia ora. I want to talk Kia a little ora. bit about that uh, Labour Greens alliance in, in a moment, but first, you were at Parakura's um, uh, ceremony, it's Tangi yesterday. What were your impressions? It was beautiful. I, I don't know that he could have wanted more, as weird as that might sound. Uh, his whānau were there. There was so much love and affection. It was funny. Um, it was very pragmatic. It was uh, a beautiful, beautiful ceremony and just reminds us of uh, how, how he had touched so many lives and so many people were there to pay their respects. It was gorgeous. How did he touch your life? What was your relationship? Well, I first got to know him over the Foreshore and Seabed debacle when I was first an MP and a very new MP. And so he and I and other MPs travelled the country uh, at the Foreshore and Seabed Hui. And although we were on absolutely opposite sides of the issue, he was incredibly generous. He always recognised that I was there. He was always kindly about my presence. He was never disrespectful in his um, korero about the issues. You know, it just showed that he was able to connect on a relationship basis. And I think that's probably one of the best strengths of his, is that he understood that politics is about relationships and protecting and maintaining those relationships was the most important thing. That for sure uh, time was, was a very difficult one. What will be Parakura's political legacy though, do you think? I think the work that he did as Minister, uh, Māori Television Service is, um, was, was done under his watch. But I think the constant uh, priority of community development you know he came from a community development background and he brought that to the uh, to his role as minister and i think that will continue to be his legacy naturally there would have been a lot that you you both would have agreed on were there disagreements yes what were they oh well Oh, no, very rarely. Um, Parikura uh, <laughs> was very supportive of a, of a piece of work that I'm doing at the moment um, with other MPs on an inquiry into Māori children and was very staunch about the feed the children, feed the nation that was talked about yesterday a great deal. Uh, and that's, that's right, that was where his heart was and that's what he was committed to. Let's talk a little bit about the um, Ikaroa Rāwhiti seat. Will the Greens stand someone there? 
We haven't discussed this yet, and most of the MPs I've spoken to haven't had the stomach to discuss it until Parikura was safely in the ground. Uh, people will now want to talk about it. Um, we'll yet to see what, whether we think it's worthwhile standing. Um, What's your feeling? What's your feeling at the moment? Well. In terms of in general, I think that Derek's right that there is a strong commitment to Parikura and to Labour Party in that electorate. He's held that electorate even when other Labour Party MPs lost theirs over the foreshore uh, issue. But he held his electorate and he continued to build support. So Labour does have a very strong loyal following. Anybody who takes that seat, if they're a Labour MP, take, a Labour person takes that seat, um, I think the real test for them will come at the general election rather than at this by-election, uh, partly because the by-election will come so quickly. The thing is that Parakura's departure leaves a big hole in the Māori Labour caucus, isn't it? I mean, will the Greens be looking to, to take some of those, those votes from Labour, some of those Māori votes? We're always looking for votes <laughs> from anybody at any time, so you know we welcome those. We welcome votes, but I think the the, the issue for Labour will be um, you're finding someone who can have that same relational approach to that seat and to other Māori seats. Um, the issue for Mana and Māori Party will be the same if they decide to contest there, and for us if we decide to as well. Um, these are tricky issues. You know, you have to find the right person for a seat like this. I think for Māori MPs, you know, for us. Uh, as a collective in the Parliament, it, he leaves a huge gap for us. We had a lot of respect and time for Parikura. We relied a lot on his judgment. Um, he was a very smart and funny man, and so it will be difficult. We're going to have to find another way of um, being strong as a group of Māori MPs in Parliament without him. Well, absolutely. If Derek Fox is correct, uh, it'll be a Labour Greens government next time around. What, was, what would be the first thing that a Labour Greens government would do to lift Māori? The focus for us, for the Greens, will always will continue to be jobs and kids. Uh, and so we need to make sure that we have a strong plan going into the election to create new jobs uh, and to protect the existing jobs. Uh, for we have a strong plan on lifting uh, the well-being of children, particularly Māori children. Uh, the food and schools issue is growing in strength across the political spectrum for Labour, for the Greens, uh, for Mana, which who have their bill that's being debated very soon. We'll see strong consensus around that, I think, um, when that bill comes to the debate. So those will be the priorities that will continue into the next election and after the election if there is a Greens and Labour government. OK, so Parikura was vehemently opposed to asset sales. As are the Greens, yes. the share offer for Mighty River Power closed on Friday. So where to now for, for that agenda? Well, we will continue to talk to families and businesses about the fact that the NZ Power policy will help to provide them with fairer prices. We don't have an objection to fair returns to the shareholders or owners of the electricity assets, whoever they might be, but there should be fair prices for families and for small businesses in particular. I'm disappointed by some in the business community who are making all sorts of outrageous claims about the effect of the policy because, in fact, many of their members will benefit directly, their business members will benefit directly because they too have been paying far too much for power over many years, as have too many of our families and our whanau. All right, we have to leave it there. Thanks so much for your time. Green Party co-leader Materia today. There, over to you now, Scotty, with uh, Willie, and perhaps we'll see the return of Willie to politics. <laughs> well, Willie's just flown in from Uawa Tolaga Bay on his private jet, and he joins us now. <laughs> Kia ora, Willie. Kia ora, brother. Now, you were there at the Tangi over the past three days. How was it for you? Oh, it was a look, fantastic tangi, fantastic tangi, and a tribute to the people down there in uh, Ngāti Pro. Real, some real stars, as you do. You know, I, I just enjoy the kōrero, uh, Scotty, and, you know, people like Shane Jones who came in. I thought Shane really performed well, and not just for Labour, but for his people up north, you know. He, he um, you know, he really showed his stuff. Not well enough, of course, to continue on the pai pai down there. Hmm, didn't uh, the position hey, in Ngāti Pro. No, 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 that's right. I was having a talk with Jay. That's right. I took a hoati. <laughs> they, you know, he had a, he, he done a great quarter, as he always does. Uh, but then that was it. You're on the side, boy. You know, <laughs> the pie pie down there didn't need Jonesy. And of course, as we all know, one of the best speakers on the pie. But I thought he did a good job in terms of covering a real hole left by Parikura. But, you know, when you go to Tangi, we have the, some of the most wonderful speakers. You know, Derek Lardelli. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. He did a magnificent quarter when Ngaitahu came on. Wayne Ngata, who runs the Marae down there, you know. Um, uh, just, just uh, just great to see, and then people who came through. John Key did a very good speech. Mm -hmm. David Shearer, Hone Harawe, they had them laughing uh, uh, everywhere. So there were know? plenty of stars. Oh, great they? stars! And I mean, a lot to say about Parikura. 
lot to say. Uncle Kepa Sterling was on fire, you know. And you and spoke too. What did you have to say? Oh, well, Anything know, of consequence? I, I made, <laughs> not, not a lot. You know, we all make a little bit of a, a contribution. All I, I mean, all I talked about is this is a guy who wasn't a high flyer like a Winston Peters, uh, Peter Sharp or Tony Harawira. His main strength was the hokainga. That's why, why people loved him. He didn't really worry about, although he did move big kaupapa like Māori Television. He was a great supporter of Māori Radio and I meet to him over there. But but it was this hokainga support, you know, looked after the people on the coast and in Kahunganu. And, and during the foreshore and seabed, when we were calling them sellouts from everywhere and we wanted them all to get out of there, uh, who went up in the polls? Pretty good at I mean, which, it's just incredible. Which is going to make it very difficult for another, gr uh, another group, another political yes. party, to take that seat off Labour, isn't well, it? Well, when we talk about by-elections. No, no, well, that's where Foxy's right. Derek's right. I mean, really, Labour, common sense tells you Labour should come home comfortably if they play it right. If they get a bit cheeky, as Labour have tended to do in the past and put a candidate in there who no one knows. You know, imagine if they put Scotty Morrison down there or someone like... <laughs> no, have you known? <laughs> up in Mahuika waiting up to Derek Lardell, they've all rang me, they read the newspaper and they all said, Scotty, great idea, come so, down to no, you. No, 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 but, 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 but that's the thing is, the Labour in the past have done silly things. You have to pick a, a candidate with the right fuck up, up a Scotty and you go and put, you foist someone on the iwi, you know, you watch out. So, so if, Have they asked you? No, 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 because I'm, I'm not from there, and uh, plus I'm, I'm still after yours and many other jobs. <laughs> well, well, so no. who have we got? Who have we got in the boat? Well, well, Who's uh, the potential it, it'll, candidates? it'll be interesting. I think they're looking at Mika, um, what's Mika Faitari, who's CEO for Ngāti Kahungane, um, and uh, she, you know, she might, she might be all right. I don't know if she's interested, but they have to be uh, uh, very careful. See, and that's why if I was in the Mana or Māori Party, I'd be chasing a, a, a strong candidate, a candidate like a Waini Ngata or Derek Lardelli or from uh, um, Hastings, Kahunganu, Henari O'Keefe. Mm. You get an outstanding candidate coming in, you never know their luck. It's going to be really hard for the Māori Party, though, because people all saw that. Uh, I mean, you know, the Māori Party, I talked to Tūrero down there, and people can still see the split in the Māori Party. You know, they, they came on separately, Peter Sharples and Tariana Tūria. Mm. You know, but if they had an outstanding candidate, and actually they do have an outstanding ca candidate, and I forgot, as um, we're talking about Nā Raihania, of course, who I spoke with. Nā's a tremendous candidate. Mm. Tremendous candidate. Got the bloodlines. His father is one of the main crew of Ngāti Pro. But you've got to give Nā, nā Raihani uh, a chance. If, if our people see a split party, the Labour Party candidate waltzes home. But uh, it'll be fascinating to watch who, who Labour go, goes after. Uh, they have to get a pretty reasonable candidate. If they get a pre pretty reasonable candidate, they put in the hard yards, it should be a comfortable victory for them. However, if they don't, and the Mana Party or Māori Party get a Hinari O'Keefe or uh, um, Nā Rai Hania uh, and, and the Māori Party comes together. See, if I was in the Māori Party, I, I, I'd say, right, Pete and Tuddy, you're in, uh, uh, you're in Hastings Napier for two weeks, then you're going to Ngāti Pro for two weeks. Oh, the people will love it. Well, there's some great names that you brought up there. And like everybody said, Parikura Horomia Hekano Hikite went aye, to all the marae aye. around the motu, including this one, 163 times. On marae? On marae. On more than you and me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he was a fabulous whanaunga. We loved yep. him dearly. And it was his, the personal touch uh, that we all remember. I just want to quickly say when my father quickly, died, quickly. he came by my mother for three days, hmm. a week after my father died. That's the sort of... Uh, approach he had, a personal touch that we will never forget. It's a wonderful sentiment to end on. Willie, thank you very much. Back to you, Miriam. Yeah, he won't be forgotten, that's right. This is a lovely story. Tomorrow the words to a winning song by a Waikato a secondary school student will be sent to all New Zealand schools as part of New Zealand Music Month. All students will learn the words to the winning song and sing it at the end of the month. Our reporter Kane Peters caught up with the teenage singer-songwriter at Auckland Stebbing Studios. In the morning Can you hear Ngāpuhi songstress Waimaria Smith composed this winning song. I'm from up north in Kirikiri. My mum is from Titi and my dad's from Matangiro. I'm 15. <laughs> I go to boarding school at St Peter's, Cambridge. Waimaria entered her song called Paradise into the National School's songwriting competition Hook, Line and Sing Along. But she never imagined it would win, becoming the student song for New Zealand Music Month. I found out about the competition through my teacher. He just pretty much 
see that I should <laughs> into it. I thought it'd be something that some of my kids would be into into entering, so I introduced it to them in class and said maybe it might be something that you would think about entering. Um, and yeah, why well, I decided to do it, and here she is now. The competition asked budding songwriters to write about New Zealand. They received 50 entries that were put before a judging panel of musicians, including members of the New Zealand boy pop band Titanium. What, what does it feel like, you winning hook, line and sing-along? Um, it feels really good. <laughs> the experience has been real different. <laughs> yeah, it's not what I expected it to be. Despite her natural shyness, Waimaria travelled to Stebbing Studios in Auckland to record her song with Tonga Pōro musician Horomona Horo and Three Houses Down band member Tonga Baia. Nah, this is not, not going to happen like that. First heard the song would have been Good Friday and uh, it was, she's got an amazing voice so the timbre of her voice actually caught me and the rest of it was just just came easy, you know, and when I read that email and it said she's a shy year 11 girl, I was like, man, with a voice like that, I'll be, if I was year 11, I'll be singing everywhere at school, but yeah, it's a beautiful song. This is where the tiny was born. She always sung along, she enjoyed kapahaka, she enjoyed listening to her elders singing, you know, in particular on marae functions or and, and she's happy when she sings. It brings her true wairua out. The wairua she carries definitely comes with her name, Waimari meaning calm waters. When do you think you first got into music? When I first started St Peter's. And yeah, I just took music and then liked it. <laughs> Did you think it would take you this far? No, I thought it was just temporary. Are you scared, the thought of heaps of people hearing your song? Yeah, kind of. It's always awesome to come and, and see the, the next generation, you know. Why is awesome too. She's she's really shy, but um, as you can hear, the voice is, speaks for itself. So it's awesome to see what the what New Zealand holds, what talent New Zealand holds. It's the fourth year of the competition, and three out of four of the winners have been Māori students. So what is it that makes Māori such good singers and composers? I think the Music Commission has been actively um, inviting um, for other languages, particular te reo Māori. Um, we're really keen to hear that on the airwaves and on our lips, um, so um, that maybe has something to do with it too, but I, I think we just have such talent coming out of kapahaka groups, out of churches, all sorts of, and out of schools in this country, that this is a really good way of, of bringing those students in. Waimaria's winning song will be sung by students from locations across the country on May 31st. I speak for all my elders and my tūpuna that have passed on, that she makes us very proud of who we are and a generation that will carry forth. What does it feel like when you sing? I feel happy. <laughs> yeah, I can see myself doing this in the future. <laughs> oh, she makes me feel happy too. Catchy. Such a beautiful song. We're going to hear a lot more from her, I think, my Mari. Well, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned uh, for Wakahuya, who are talking to Takaputai Mete Walker of Ngāti Kahungungu, who's the last master woodcarver of his generation. He oi kuo ti a mato a mato kōrero o te ata nei, te whakairo ake, hei ata wheraweratanga ma o koutou hiningaro pūrangi aho, ki a mai i te rā e takoto ake nei. Hey, man.